what do you think will be the fate of human beings in the next few years? Will we have a sound idea of what lies beyond the blue sky? Or will we continue to look up and wonder how these specks of light look from a close distance? There are millions of celestial bodies in the sky, and as a matter of fact, these are huge, though they really look small from the distance we are viewing them. This decade has seen our scientists deliver enormous accomplishments in astronomy by exploring space extensively. Robots were sent to the farthest planets and even near to the sun. That's pretty amazing, right? That's not all. We now have tons of images to work on, thanks to the well-equipped telescopes developed for the sole purpose of space exploration. Let us give you a hint to what lies ahead in this video, the first ever image of the black hole, which was declared to be the science breakthrough of the year. Curious enough? Stay tuned. In today's video, we have assembled some of our favorite pictures from space. Some photos tell us about their inspiring beauty, and some help scientists foresee what may happen in the future. Never forget the darkest secrets they may have for us to learn. Without further ado, let's get started with one of the tiniest and dearest planets to us. This picture you see on your screen dates back to 2015. Pluto, the planet you see here, is a dwarf planet, meaning thereby that the planet is too small to be fully categorized as a planet in our solar system. As technology advanced, we started getting a clearer image of how Pluto looked, and the progress is here on your screen. Can you guess how far it is from Earth? It is three billion miles away from Earth. It was in July 2015 when the spacecraft New Horizon got past Pluto, we got this clear image of the dwarf planet. The images showed that Pluto wasn't just some sort of a ball made of ice and rocks at the end of our solar system, it was geographically very rich. By looking at the image, you can tell that the surface of Pluto is mostly smooth, which reveals the fact that it has been reshaping its crust on and off, removing impact craters. Observe the image. You can see a heart-shaped area on the surface of the little planet. Scientists and astronomers also assume that there might be a huge slushy sea beneath this. Here we present you with another image that reveals the surface of Pluto more specifically. You might see some ridges on the surface. Can you guess what those are? Those tiny appearing ridges are 11,000 foot tall mountains. We also get to see icy plains and wisps of Pluto's atmosphere. The first picture tells us about the outer appearance of the planet, but the second one reveals how it would be like dwelling on Pluto. It may be a dwarf planet, but it's a whole world. Doesn't it look magnificent? This gorgeous photo of Jupiter was taken by Juno, one of the spacecraft NASA. The picture you see on your screen looks no less than art from a prominent artist. The fact here is that this is exactly how the planet looks and it was captured on the 4th of July 2016 at a speed of 130,000 miles per hour. This is what truly defines the advancement we have made in terms of technology. Its journey around the largest planet in our solar system spilled many secrets for scientists to work on and come to better conclusions. One of the most distinguishing characteristics of this planet is constant cyclones revolving around the poles of the planet. If these cyclones are strong enough to depict an extremely variable magnetic field than what was speculated by the scientists here on Earth. The planet's equator is also encircled by a belt of ammonia. To our utter amazement, scientists have also said that the core of the planet isn't as dense and compact as we thought. Juno is sending us immensely beautiful portraits of our largest planet. NASA processes these images and presents them to the citizens. The clouds aren't very stable and have a stormy and gauzy appearance. It looks as if we have taken cream whirling in the hugest imaginable cup. On top of that, the tiniest features of Jupiter can be immensely bigger than the whole of Earth. This image shows us the famous great red spot of Jupiter. Lastly, Jupiter's vortex is so huge that we can fit almost three Earths into it. Isn't it incredible? Moving on to the next, we have the first ever picture of the black hole. Now, black hole is a phenomenon extremely feared by scientists and well depicted by Hollywood through movies like Gravity, Interstellar, and a lot more. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope took us a step closer to this scientific giant as we had the first few images of the black hole being passed on from the satellite, one of which is here on your screen. For those who've no idea about it, it is an extremely dense object which makes the exit of any form of light impossible, hence the name black hole. Objects falling into this hole can never return because of their very strong gravity. The huge hole is situated at the center of a galaxy called Messier 87, which is 53.46 light years away. The black hole is 6.5 times heavier than the sun. It's huge, and when we say huge, we mean it. It is all contained in a single point of infinite density. Though we mentioned the impossibility for light to escape, you'd be able to notice a layer of white light. Any guesses on what that could be? And if we do have light passing, is it really the black hole? Yes, it is. Let us explain. The light you see is a result of the materials getting destroyed as a result of immense gravity. Now, the black hole is not actually an object. It is actually a shadow, or even better explained, a sink. 
The black space indicates that in this region, the light gets sucked out of our visual perception. This absence says that something has gotten off our visible universe. It's an amazing moment for us to see something so charismatic, which is so far away and extremely tough to capture. This picture was captured by Cassini in 2017. The Cassini mission ended in a very fierce manner. The spacecraft had been in the orbit of Saturn for a decade when it suddenly drove into the planet, resulting in its demolition. These are the last few pictures before Cassini's destruction. Saturn's icy moon is called Enceladus. These pictures reveal so much information. Some years back, it was said that Enceladus has a distinct feature. Crests of water vapor have come out of the cracks present on the surface of the icy moon. These fumes of water vapor signify that there must be some kind of ocean under the ice-covered surface that may contain geothermal vents as found in the oceans of Earth. Do you know what that means? It means the possibility of life. Scientists say it might be a venue for the next genesis where life may evolve, develop and improvise. Just imagine what would happen if we get traces of certain microorganisms in the water of the Enceladus. It will be one of the greatest discoveries in the history of humankind. The picture shown is considered to be one of the most popular photos captured by Cassini. Do you see the arrow in the photo? That's our planet Earth. This photo was taken from the dark sides of the ring-laden planet. This proves that we're only a speck of dust in front of the whole universe. This was the first time scientists could land something on a comet. How fascinating! The Rosetta mission undertaken by the European Space Agency was initiated in 2004 and the probe landed on a comet in 2014. The scientists struggled for 10 long years. The name of the comet is 67P Churyumov Gerasimenko. This celestial body is a little more than 2.5 miles in breadth. It is unbelievable that we could guide something so tiny in the huge vastness of space. As you can all see, this picture captured in 2015 shows minute details about the comet. Astronomers observed the pictures and came up with the discovery that the comet is also surrounded by a tiny piece of material orbiting it. It appears like a miniature version of the moon, and the scientists named it Shiryu Moon. Looks like a storm, right? <laughs> but no, it's all the cosmic rays and dust particles on the surface of the comet. You can also take a look at the uneven features of the object. You can now imagine what it will be like to ride a comet. This photo was captured by our Hubble Space Telescope. Can you make out what that is? No, it's nothing but a comet passing through our solar system. This celestial body arose from a star that didn't belong to us and was tossed off into space by some unspecified catastrophe. Its speed suggests that it's not going to dwell here. It's moving at extremely high speeds of 100,000 miles per hour, which is almost three times the speed of Voyager 1, which has already vacated our solar system. This speed is too high for the Sun as well to capture it in its orbit. The second interstellar object named 2L Boryasov was only recorded in our galaxy. In 2017, a cigar-shaped rock was discovered, which was called Aumuamua. This picture was taken on the 16th of November. Can you see the bright blue stuff in the center? Yes, that is the comet which is approximately 203 miles farther from the surface of the Earth. This picture also reveals a blurred object which is to the left of the comet. That is a freaking 390 million light years away spiral galaxy in the setting. How's that for a severe difference in order? The reason for this might be the core of the comet which is allegedly less than half a mile broad. And with this, we have come to the end of our video. We hope you enjoyed the video and got to see some of the magnificent images of our galaxy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Bye!